Hello dear students, welcome to the lecture series of Object Oriented Programming. In this lecture, we are going to see how to assign pointers to the derived classes with an example. At the end of this lecture, you will be able to create pointers to the derived classes. We can use the pointers not only to the base objects but also to the objects of derived classes. Pointers to the object of the base class are type compatible with the pointers to the objects of the derived class. A single pointer variable can be made to point to the objects belonging to the different classes. Let us consider an example. If B is a base class and B is a derived class from base class B, then pointer declared as a uh, pointer to the class B can also be pointer to the class D. Now let us see how it can be done. Here I have a CPTR which is a pointer variable of a type B. Here the class uh, object of class B is created and here the object of class D is created. Now CPTR can point to the object of class B as well as CPTR can point to the object of class D. Now if we do so let us see what will happen. If we do so although we can have the same pointer to the, to the object of the derived class and the base class public members of the derived class D cannot be accessed by the CPTR as CPTR is the pointer variable created of a type class B. We can only access those members which are inherited from class B. We cannot access the members which are originally belongs to class D. That means if class D is inheriting some of the members from class B then uh, those members can be accessed by this CPTR pointer which is created from class B but if we have some members which belongs to only derived class D and which are not inherited from class B then those members cannot be accessed by such pointer. In, in case a member of a class D has the same name as one of the members of a B then any reference to that member by CPTR will always access the base class member. Now let us consider we have a function display in class B as well as we have a function display in class D. Now class B and class D we have the same function name with same prototypes. Now if you want to evoke the display function by using the CPTR pointer which is created from the base class B then it will always access the base class display function and it will not access the derived class display function. Now let us see the example of pointers to the derived classes. Here I have a base class which has a member as integer B and void show. This is the data member and this one is a member function which is going to display the value of B on the screen. I have here one more class that is DC which is going which is inherited from the class BC. Now DC has its own members that is integer D and uh, void show. Now this void show function is going to display the values of B and D on the screen respectively. Now let us see how the pointers are created from class base class BC and derived class DC. Here we have a BPTR as a pointer which is created from base class BC. Here is the object of base class BC and here is the statement which is going to uh, now here the BPTR pointer is going to point to the object of class BC. Now if uh, this cout statement will simply display the bptr pointers to the base uh, statement now if i am uh, if i want to set the value of pointer b uh, sorry if i want to set the value of a variable b as a hundred then i can set that value by using the bptr pointer now in this case we can access the base class via base pointer that means we can access the data member that is integer b of a base class and we can set the value of that uh, uh, variable as a hundred and when uh, we uh, want to access the member function of that base class using bptr pointer that member function will be accessed and it will display the value of b on the screen in that case this function will be executed which belongs to class bc now let us create one more 
uh, object of a class uh, DC and uh, now this uh, BPTR pointer which is created from the uh, base class it is pointing to the object of the derived class okay and uh, this cout statement is simply displaying the uh, BPTR points to the derived object uh, on the screen now here if you want to access if you want to set the value of B 200 okay using that BPTR pointer then that derived class can be accessed via base pointer as as this B which is the data member of a base class is inherited by the derived class DC. So in that case we can set the value of B as a 200 and in the same way as show function is the uh, inherited function by derived class DC from base class BC that show function will simply display the value of B as a 200. Okay. So this is valid as well as this is also valid. Now let us see uh, can we set the value of D which is the member of derived class uh, as 200 so it will not work through that BPTR pointer as this BPTR pointer is created uh, this is the base pointer which is created from the base class uh, BC okay and that's the reason we cannot set we cannot access the member of the derived class through this base pointer okay so this statement will not work now let us create a derived type pointer we have dptr as a derived pointer which is created from the derived class dc and now uh, we are going to uh, point uh, that uh, you, uh, we are going to uh, save the address of that uh, uh, object which which is object of dc okay uh, in dptr now let us see can we access the d which is the member of dc class yes using dptr pointer we can set the value we can access that d and we can set the value of that d as a 400 now here the derived class can be accessed using the derived pointer okay which is dptr and here it is a simple cout statement and now uh, as i told you if uh, uh, the the members are belongs to the derived class and if those members are not inherited from the base class then the pointer uh, we cannot access the members of that respective derived class using the pointer base pointer of that base class but of course we can access the members from the derived type pointer of that respective derived class now show is also a member of a derived class so using dptr pointer we can simply access the member function of show member function of derived class that is show and we can display the value of b and d on the screen respectively please remember that if we create a base pointer from the base class then only uh, members which are inherited from the base class can be accessible to the derived class but the members which are not inherited from the base class and the members which belongs to that derived class independently cannot be accessed by that base pointer and so uh, to access those members which are which belongs to that derived class we have to create the derived type pointer and through that derived type pointer we can access those members okay now let us see uh, what will be the output output should be like first bptr pointers uh, points to the base statement should be printed then the value of b should be assigned uh, to b as a hundred and then that value should be displayed on the screen as b is equal to 100 and after that uh, the value of uh, after that bptr points to the derived object should be displayed and then the value 200 will be assigned to the uh, ob, uh, to the uh, to the uh, member b and uh, this should be displayed as b is equal to 200 as these two are members of the base class and can be accessible by the pointer base pointer uh, by the uh, and uh, that base pointer can point to the object of the derived class okay and here now it is specifically uh, now these members are specifically accessed by the pointer of a derived type. Now here uh, dptr is derived type pointer shall be displayed on the screen and the value as 400 should be assigned to d and uh, when that show function will be called uh, this show will be executed and the value of b and d will be displayed as 200 and 400 respectively. Okay now let us check the output. 
yes see bptr is pointing to base then b is equal to 100 bptr now points to the derived object so b is equal to 200 and bptr uh, is derived type pointer then b will be displayed as a 200 and d will be 400 okay so this will be using the base pointer and this will be displayed showed executed using the derived type pointer so i hope you have understood how to assign pointers to the derived classes and how to assign how to access the members of the derived classes so thank you happy learning